So let me ask you a question first. <clears throat> you made uh, a short training video, yeah, which that I've shown people in Scotland um, when I deliver training. Um, and people are, of course, very impressed um, at how able you were to put bear yeah, yeah. into the recovery position and you seem to know what you were doing. <clears throat> Can I ask you, how easy did you find it to, to put bear into the recovery position and stuff like that? It was quite easy putting him in the recovery position even though he sort of just walked back. Mm -hmm. um, and it was quite easy because he was a bear and you didn't have to do it exactly right because it isn't like a person. Sure. So like you didn't have to get everything right because his arms wouldn't move in. It was just things like that. Yeah. But you still <laughs> found it easy enough to get bear <clears throat> on his side with his yeah. mouth <clears throat> pointing towards the ground, yeah? Yeah, because you don't have to exactly do it perfectly, mm -hmm. just as long as their airways aren't blocked. Okay, and when, how did you learn this? How did you learn this kind of stuff? Well, about this important, making sure that that airway wasn't blocked and that it was open? Well, I did a bit at school mm -hmm. that year, and with... Oh, so what you did first aid at school? Yeah, because we, all the year fives did it for a bit. What age are the year fives? Um, about... Nine. Nine to ten or something, isn't okay. it? Um, and my friend's mum came in because she works in an ambulance and she helped us right. like learn all about it and stuff. And the first lesson was how to put someone in a recovery position. And, and did they tell you then why the recovery position is important and yeah. what it was for? What did they say? They said that <coughs> the recovery position is good if you use it correctly and that it helps them to breathe in um, and not block their airways yep. and you obviously need to check them first like by leaning over yep. seeing if anything is stuck and yeah so you remember the the, the person coming in and teaching you about the recovery position is that is that what you used as as the kind of learning um to, to put bear into the recovery position <clears throat> yeah but my dad also taught me a little bit about recovery and stuff as well. Right. So it's pretty fresh in your mind then? Yeah. And is it a thing you think you would be able to do for anybody that you found who maybe you couldn't wake up or you were worried about? Is that a thing that you reckon you could do any time now? Is it pretty much locked in there now? Yeah, I'll remember it. I might be a little bit anxious to do it, like, mm -hmm. in case I get it wrong or something, but... Yeah, I think I can probably do it. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, we use your video. We've shown lots and lots of people your video. And sometimes people, you know, sometimes people think it's uh, maybe not a good idea um, to be talking to, to young people like you about um, bits of first aid, especially if that first aid uh, relates to maybe a mum or a dad who might be using drugs and is maybe, uh, you know, uh, became really unwell because of using drugs and maybe even overdosed. Do you know what I mean by overdosed? Yeah. <clears throat> what does that mean? Like, what they have used a drug too much or they've used too much of it um, and then, yeah. <clears throat> and it's a really easy thing to happen. <clears throat> um, but yeah, sometimes people think that no, 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 you should only be having conversations with uh, grown-up adult people about these things, even though, as you've just explained, that pretty much from the age of nine, you've known how to, what I would call in my job, assess the unconscious casualty. That's what, that's what I would call it. Yeah, well, we, because we're children, we're told that you should get adult to do it while we're children because mm -hmm. it, will be a little bit too, well, hard, even though it's easy to do it. Sure. And, yeah, it's just, it will be a little bit too hard for us and in case we get it wrong, so, but you should still call someone for help. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, and even just shout it 
so somebody can come and help mm. the unconscious person. So there you go. Every day is a learning day. See that? Mm -hmm.